<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, dude, so close. You know what I mean? So close to getting it right. I mean, it's just, you can taste it on this one. You know, it's like, it's sometimes it's like, you know what it is? It's really, it's the kid who's like scared of jumping in the pool and they like dip their toe in. It's like, look, dude, like, you know the right decision. All your friends are in the pool. Just jump in. But instead, he slowly inch at a time, you know, and it's oh, it's getting colder and colder. It's like, bro, just jump in. It's get, you know, it may suck for you, but everyone else is trying to have fun. What am I speaking about? Well, of course, coming with the next patch. In patch 420, they are doing a few things, which is... It's a little bit of a bummer. One of which is yes, the poison popping is not going to work. So our idea of Karam, Elinaro, Zavia, all these brilliant ideas to destroy the new dungeon through 21 through 25, not gonna work. Okay, Plarium decided to just straight up copy pasta the Doom Tower's passives, and now we have the Doom Tower in dungeons 21 through 25 for, for some fucking reason. But on top of it, our prayers have been answered. So don't worry, guys. We're having a event to remove half of the cost of taking gear off. That's right. They decided to address the community who's been asking for gear reduction, and they're doing it for you. They're removing half of the silver. Why do half? Just remove it all. Just remove it all. Why, why half? I mean, I, half's better than nothing, but it's just, you're so close. You're right you're right there, just jump in the pool. Okay, here's what we're talking about in particular. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. You can find it in their Discord if you want. It's not a problem, but basically what this says here, up here near the top says, look at this, new dungeons 21 through 25. You already knew this, okay? It's gonna allow our battle hardened players to farm loot more efficiently. So they're saying more efficiently doesn't sound like new loot. I'm willing to bet it's probably just like you get guaranteed six star or maybe it's like epic and legendary only. We don't know the rewards yet. That is to be determined, okay? What I do know is the Fire Knight's gonna get slightly easier. Stage seven through nine, the shield's gonna be seven instead of 10. That's actually pretty good for free to play people, so that's a buff. The logic behind receiving the rewards will remain largely intact. You get tournament and event points based upon the rank and rarity you get after clearing a stage. They're throwing that in, I think, as like, a explanation to the rewards they're going to do. I'm assuming once again, it's higher rarity and rank is what you get for these higher dungeons. It's what I would assume, okay? I don't think they're coming out with new artifacts. I don't think there's any kind of new Ford stuff. I just believe it's the same stuff we already have. Now moving forward. Here we go. Of course, boss stages are tougher and have passive abilities to limit the amount of damage you can absorb from one attack. Now they finally address the poison. This includes damage from Elinaro's Combust and other skills which exploit the poison state of a target. Now they address it. So we know 100% for a fact, poison will not work for being popped, okay? Similarly, the Doom Tower bosses, all turn meter reduction effects are decreased by 50% when used against bosses on stage 21 through 25 i.e. you have to have twice as much turn meter reduction if you are trying to lock somebody out. Lissandra will no longer solo the Fire Knight's turn meter reduction, for instance, which means if it's 50% reduction, you're probably going to see a lot of full turn meter reduction types of teams, okay? Now, I, I don't really care too much about the turn meter reduction uh, and, you know, limiting the poisons or whatever. It's a little bit of a bummer that uh, these in particular are going to the normal dungeons. It does feel a little bit like they're just trying to make the difficulty of Doom Tower and other places on the game. But it, you know, I've been wrong before. So I, I'm willing to kind of say, you know, the, the ship's out on this one, we'll see what happens. Really, until we get the rewards, I can't really be too pessimistic, but I, you know, I hate this whole just copy paste the hard stuff from the other stuff. But you know, whatever, we'll see how it goes, okay. So moving along here, secondly, with release of the next patch, introduce a new temporary event. Now here is the one that doesn't make any sense to me. The silver cost of removing gear will be halved for one month. Why ha just remove it for a month, bro? Like, why? So now it's 50,000 to remove a six star instead of 100,000, great. You know, I mean, if I want to move my gear around 7 million, it's 500,000, great. It's still a shitload. It still doesn't really make sense and it's still, the only game that I play that requires 
cost removal of this high. To give you an idea, other games like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes do have fees with removing the pieces of gear. But to give you an example, with the fully, fully upgrade one piece of gear, a mod, for instance, is like 250,000 credits. And to remove that mod would be anywhere from like, you know, 900 credits to like a couple thousand, depending upon the mod rarity, which means it's like 1% of the total cost, which would effectively be if it takes a million silver to upgrade a piece to 16, for instance, it would be 10,000 to remove it to give you an idea. But instead we have 100,000, which is crazy. A, a six star rare piece of gear, like a shield, for instance, once you put on that six star rare piece of gear, like a perception that maybe rode speed once and that's just flat accuracy or something, that's not like an amazing piece of gear, but you need because you're at the point of gear you need it, it's still not removable. If you pay 50,000 to remove it, you're paying more than the shield's worth. The only thing this might be really good for is if you're trying to remove gear that you now want to sell that will sell more than the removal cost. Because a lot of the times when you're upgrading gear, you can almost just destroy and trash gear that's on people instead of actually pulling off to use it. Unless you want to use it for a faction wars character or something like if you're really scrapped for silver and you're replacing you're replacing gear that maybe you could use in somebody else, more times than not, it's better just to trash it and save the silver. So, especially if you're only leveling gear to like 12 or something, that's the other part that doesn't make sense to me about the silver removal, is that it costs the same to remove gear regardless of it's leveled or not. If you have a level one piece of gear that's six star, it's still 100,000 to remove it, you know? It would be nice if you could remove gear for free unless it's max leveled, for instance, and then it's, you know, half cost or whatever. If you wanna do that, sure, at, le at least help out some of the free to play people because half silver is great and it is for an entire month, which is nice, especially because I do have to, you know, re-gear a bunch of my teams, do unkillable, stuff like that. And they go on to say it's a good opportunity to experiment with equipment, test your champions in different locations, which it's really, it's really not. I mean, you can't, you can't build out a character and then, okay, that didn't work, build them out again. Okay, that didn't work and build them out again. You're still paying silver. This should be a free event. There should be zero silver costs for a month. People have been asking for this silver reduction for two full years now, and we still do not have it. We only have a have cost. That is a, that's just a, a weak measure in my opinion that that's obviously could get better. Now there is something that I'm happy about, which is here. Continue working on the enhancement of the classic arena experience. So I don't know what this means because mo it seems to be, it, it's another like, we're gonna look into it. This should have been looked into and completed by already. Obviously uh, bronze and silver tiers are basically completely ruined at the moment. You can't, it's not playable for free to play people, really. You, you're late, unless you happen to get a few people that just do on defenses, the majority of the people you're playing against have like multiple legendaries, crazy teams, you know, four level 60s, max masteries. I've seen 200,000 plus power teams. Yeah, it's just crazy stuff. I've even seen people with CFs that are faster than like 350. Like people who quit the game, it doesn't make any sense at all to have those type of teams in bronze and silver, especially if you want a new player to play the game, follow your missions to get Arbiter. If you follow the missions to get Arbiter, they are, they are forcing you to become aggravated at the game because they're pushing you in the direction of currently the least free to play friendly and, and the most annoying part of the game, which is Rena. They force you in that direction. So an update to this, is something we need, and if they get it right this time, I'll applaud them, say good job. I'm trying to be a lot more optimistic in this day and age, especially since I'm enjoying the game a little bit more, but it is hard when I see stuff like half cost of silver, it's always, it's always just almost there. I feel like they like to do things that we ask for just so they can say they did it and move the conversation along and have us forget about it, but it's like the silver cost of removing gear have for a month does not fix the silver problem. Instead, actually what it does is it has them address the silver problem saying they know it's a problem, but this is what we're willing to do about it. Optimistic point of view now is that if they are in fact addressing the problem, that means they're aware of it. So they are at least reading the feedback at a minimum. And this is half the cost for a while. So if you are looking for the opportunity, this might be your opportunity to rip all your gear off all your characters and completely redo it. I might actually do that myself, even though I do believe this event could be better. But that's typically how I feel in most of these events. I typically think I like this concept. I wish it was approved upon. 
Same thing I said about Clan vs. Clan. I'm actually pretty optimistic about Clan vs. Clan, except for what it's actually for, which is trying to win. If you try to win, it's not a good system, so it's not completed yet. Faction Wars, when it came out, had to be redone like five times to get it to the point of view where they're actually like, okay, we like where it's at. Again, Faction Wars was the very first update and it took years to get finished. The amount of time it takes for them to address and put out something, when it comes out, it should not be a problem. Instead, we get problems built into what comes out. That being said, the game is significantly better than it was just a year ago. The game is getting, every day I would say, there is something that I know they're working on to improve the game. And I do say improve the game because the game is objectively getting improved. Even though the silver cost is halved, that's an improvement. Even though the clan versus clan system is busted, there is still milestone rewards that people are getting for free. Even though the Platinum Arena, when it came out, and it's still, in my opinion, a busted system, even though I'm not a competitive Platinum guy, I'm probably not allowed to really speak on that, it still looks like to me a busted system, and I would lean to the more people who do it more full time. It's still better than only having everyone clammed in gold. Unfortunately, that is sort of the way Raid works. We, we deal with what we can get out of the game and make it work, which goes alongside with the majority of my points on this channel, which is how to make Raid an enjoyable game, is to take what they give you and make it a good experience. So try to get what you can out of the silver. Try not to get too salty about the fact it's only halved. Hopefully that means we're getting more events like this in the future. And hopefully it means they're actually using the data to see how often people are removing gear and stuff like that and how much they're depleting silver at that time. It could also be that they're trying to drain silver and stuff like that for events. But we could say that about literally ever, every event that ever comes out. So in my opinion, I actually like this patch 420. I'm excited to try the new dungeons. I'm really annoyed about the Doom Tower passive getting copy pasted into other parts of the game. I think that's a cheap way to do it, but I understand they've pigeonholed themselves into having to put certain passives on things just because of the characters that have come out. Let me know what your opinion on these updates are because like this video, it is, uh, community conversation and it's something I need other people's opinions on. Thanks for the new subscribers. The giveaway is going to be announced today in my Discord as well as the pinned comment on the video with the well giveaway. I thank you all for watching, subscribing, and liking. I love you all and have a wonderful day.